In this video, we will be solving this question which says we begin again with Charlie of the apples and bananas. Recall that Charlie's utility function is u of xa comma xb is equal to xa multiplied by xb. Suppose that the price of apples is 1 and the price of bananas is 2 and Charlie's income is 40. With this information, we are asked on the graph below, use blue ink to draw Charlie's budget line. Use a ruler and try to make this line accurate. Plot a few points on the indifference curve that give Charlie the utility of 150. And sketch this curve with the red ink. Now plot a few points on the indifference curve that give Charlie the utility of 300. And sketch this curve with black ink or pencil. Now this is the graph given to us where on the x-axis we have apples and on the y-axis we have bananas. Here your xa represents the units of apples consumed by Charlie which is on the x-axis and xb represents the units of bananas consumed by Charlie which is on the y-axis. We are first asked to use the blue ink to draw Charlie's budget line. Let p of a denote the price of apples which is equal to 1. p of b denote the price of bananas which is equal to 2. Let m denote the Charlie's income which is equal to 40. Now the standard equation of the budget line is price of the commodity multiplied by the units consumed of that commodity plus the price of another commodity multiplied by the units consumed of uh, that commodity. And this entire thing is equal to your expenditure which should be equal to your income. Now we know that the price of apples is 1. Let's keep x as it is plus the price of bananas which is equal to 2 multiplied by xb and m is equal to 40. So your equation becomes xa plus 2xb which is equal to 40. Now from a basic geometry you can easily draw this line which would be nothing but this blue straight line. So this your blue straight line is nothing but your budget line. Now the next part is Plot few of the points on the indifference curve that give Charlie the utility of 150. Now, we know that the equation of Charlie's indifference curve is xa multiplied by xb. So, you have xa multiplied by xb. Now, we want that the utility for that Charlie gives should be equal to 150. So, this should be equal to 150. This is the equation of your first indifference curve that gives Charlie the utility of 150. Now we have to first plot few of the points that give Charlie the utility of 150. What do you mean by plotting these points? That means we have to find the combinations of apples and bananas such that the product of that would be equal to 150. What I am trying to say is here your xa is the units of apples consumed by Charlie and xb is the units of bananas consumed by Charlie. So product of units of apples and the that of banana should be equal to 150. When I let's talk in mathematical terms. So I need two numbers who give me the product of 150. Now note very simple trick here. You do not have to find all the combinations. We will be using the commutative property of multiplications. That means if you have two numbers A and B which give you the product of suppose alpha then B multiplied by A also give you the product of alpha. So here what I have done is by finding only one combination, I am able to find two points which would be A comma B and B comma A. So let's use this property here. One more thing here to note is that you need to keep your scales in mind. What I mean by that? You cannot choose a very random or very big number which goes out of your graph. By doing that, you would be only making your task difficult so so try and remain within the range of the graph since here your range is from 40 and 40 so i need to work with the numbers lower than 40 or less than 40 suppose so let's make a table for this here your x a is the amount of apples and x b is the amount of bananas which will give you the points of the form x a comma x b since x a is on the x axis and x b is on the y axis so your four point will be taking the form of x a comma x b suppose my first point is 5 comma 30 
द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फाइव एंड थर्टी इज वन फिफ्टी दिस विल गिव मी द पॉइंट ऑफ फाइव कॉमा थर्टी नाउ बाई यूजिंग दिस प्रॉपर्टी माई अनदर पॉइंट बिकम्स थर्टी एंड फाइव अगेन आई एम एबल टू गेट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी नाउ नोट दैट बाई फाइंडिंग ओनली वन कॉम्बिनेशन आई एम एबल टू प्लॉट टू पॉइंट्स विच इज फाइव कॉमा थर्टी एंड थर्टी कॉमा फाइव लेट्स अज्यूम अनदर नंबर वुड बी टेन एंड फिफ्टीन सो माई पॉइंट बिकम्स टेन कॉमा फिफ्टीन एंड दिस इज फिफ्टीन एंड टेन द पॉइंट इज फिफ्टीन कॉमा टेन सो लेट्स प्लॉट दीज पॉइंट्स विच वुड लाई हेयर सो दिस इज योर पॉइंट फाइव कॉमा थर्टी this is your point 10 comma 15 this is 15 comma 10 and this is 30 comma 5 let's join these points and you would be able to get your desired indifference curve which give charlie the utility of 150 now the question for other says now plot a few points on the indifference curve that give charlie the utility of 300 and sketch this curve with a black ink or pencil again we have to repeat the same process all we have The only difference here is instead of one fifty, now we have to achieve the utility of three hundred. That would be x a multiplied by x b is equal to three hundred. Now the equation of the indifference curve is this. So let's work with it. Again, we would be drawing a table such that your x a is this, x b is this, and I would not be writing the points, assuming that you would be able to figure out them. the product of 300 let's keep the numbers simple your first obvious seems to me like is 10 and 30 another combination becomes 30 and 10 then we have 15 and 20 20 and 15 so my point from this would be 10 comma 30 30 comma 10 15 comma 20 and 20 comma 15 let's plot these points and they will like here Joining this, I would be able to get my desired indifference curve, which gives Charlie the utility of three hundred. That was all for this video.